What's up, y'all? My name is Barbara Atu. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's for Vlogmas Day 2. We are doing the like a restoration hardware inspired DIY textured canvas art and it's mega size. It is five by four feet. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's begin. So I got this canvas piece from Michaels and I got it for 30% off. Everything that I use will be listed down in the description box. So please be sure to check out those links. So to begin, I'm taking my steel trowel and I'm using the edge of it. I think it's like three by eight. If I'm not mistaken, yes, it's a three by eight steel trowel, and I used it for my um, restoration hardware inspired console table that I made a couple months ago. So I'm using it, and I'm taking like the three inch side, and I'm using that as like a guide for how I want the frame of the um, canvas to be, because the frame of the canvas is going to be a different shade than the rest, like the drywall in the middle so i'm using painters tape and using that as a guide to uh, make sure that it's straight across all um, around all sides of the canvas so that it's like even All right, and then once all the tape is laid out, I'm gonna take some scissors and um, I'm just gonna cut the edges where the corners are because I don't want the, um, I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to create like a frame, so I don't need like the extra painter's tape on the corners. And then after smoothing out all the painter's tape so it, there's nothing that can get under it, I'm gonna take my um, drywall compound and mix it with my liquid cement color that I used again for the um, concrete console table that I made. I'm just gonna mix, add some into the bucket and then mix it with a painter's stick, a paint stick I mean, and then making sure that it's like thoroughly mixed so that I have like an even, uh, even blend, but not too even to where it's like, I don't know. I still want like some variation in the shade as I apply onto the canvas. All right, and then you're gonna wanna um, just apply it all over the frame, the edge of the canvas, um, spreading it on, making sure that you're getting like the rounded corners as well. Um, and making sure that you add enough to where it won't, it's not too thin that it'll crack and like split, but like not too thick to where it's like gonna take forever to dry. So you're just gonna go around the entire canvas, very simple, very cash. Um, since we smoothed down the painter's tape, you don't have to worry about the drywall leaking under it.
all right and then while that is drying now you're going to want to start on the middle you're just going to take the plain drywall compound and then just slap it on spread it throughout um do whatever design you want on it i just wanted to like smooth some and then later on you all will see me like do like a stippling effect to where it's like more rough on top of in certain sp certain parts of the canvas And I also dragged um, the plain drywall over the painter's tape. So like, there's like a cutoff. So there's like a little bit of an edge effect. I don't know how to explain it, but like I dragged it over the painter's tape so that when it fully dries and I peeled the painter's tape off, there's like a little bit of a ridge. So now I'm doing the stippling effect that I mentioned earlier. I'm just like grabbing some on the, um, I think, is this a trowel? I don't know, a spreader, girl, I don't know. Um, I'm just grabbing some of the drywall compound and just like stippling it on top of the um, smoothed drywall compound that I already applied so that there's a little bit more texture on the canvas. All right, and then after letting it dry for three days, cause I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry um i'm just gonna peel off the painter's tape as you're gonna see it's like a clean finish but we did ended up i ended up getting some of the gray drywall onto the main part of the canvas so y'all will see me try to like fix that with more plain drywall compound to cover it Okay, and then once that little bit dried, um, I'm gonna take my acrylic concrete sealer that I used for my concrete console table, and I'm just going to use a roller and put it in a roller tray, and then um, just roll it all over the canvas to make sure that it's sealed. I did three coats. Y'all only saw me do one coat on camera, but I did three coats just to make sure that it wouldn't crack when I ended up moving it and hanging it on the wall. All right, and then after letting that dry for two days, um, it is time to hang it on the wall, okay? As y'all see, y'all see how big it is? I love it so much. It's so pretty, I love it. I initially wanted to do like a design in the middle, but I didn't want to be, look, I didn't want to look too busy, because again, um, the color scheme that I'm going for this room is like gray, kind of like an ivory, I think, and then dark espresso brown, because that's the color of the, love seat and the chair that's in the den area so um i just wanted everything to complement each other and not make it too like crazy so um y'all see me i'm measuring the walls making sure that it's in the center of the room and i'm used um my stud finder to make sure that where i hammer into it will not fall because i didn't know how heavy it was going to be and to be honest it wasn't really that heavy i think it was between like i want to say 10 to 15 pounds i think and then I'm gonna take a picture hanging kit and it has like a very strong wire. So I use like a nail as like a, a starting point to hammer into the canvas frame. And then I use like the picture hook and I twisted it. And then I looped the wire through and wrapped it around securely and then tested it by lifting the wire to see if it was gonna hold or not. All right, so now I'm hanging the, I'm, hammering the hooks into the wall to make sure it's secure um just wanting to make sure that um there's no problems with hanging it because girl i was doing this myself okay and i didn't have time to wait for like my dad or my brother to come home so they can help me i wanted to get it done immediately so um <laughs> i'm taking it and then i was cussing to myself here and <laughs> making sure that it wasn't gonna fall because 
I was nervous. I was very nervous, but thankfully we sealed it so it wasn't gonna crack on me or anything. And then we're just gonna slowly drag it down. I did stain the wall, um, but I ended up cleaning up cleaning it up afterwards. And then, um, yeah, just hanging on the wall, centering it. And this is how she ended up turning out. I love it. Very affordable, you know, very simple, very cash, all under $200 because Restoration Hardware wants me to char wants me to pay $4,000 for a canvas piece and that's crackhead behavior. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Please forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>